What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Thursday's NBA Prize Picks Picks of the Day. Let's go through the tool. Let's see if we can build something really fun here today. And I think that we can. We've got some some really interesting ones. We're going to start someplace super interesting. I talked on Tuesday about the fact that you can usually find some kind of hidden gems in some of these categories, especially where the actual projection itself is a really low number, like, for example, turnovers. So we're going to go to this turnovers. And this is basically the place that I start every day. I think it's harder for prize picks for underdog to set turnover projections than it is to set points, projections, rebounds, and all of those things. So sometimes you're going to get some less efficient projections in this category. It's where I love to start. And particularly, I like to look for less than plays just because of the way turnover distributions work. So when we have somebody like Devin Booker here, it's projected by us for 1.6 turnovers by price picks for two and a half. I feel pretty good about this. And sure enough, we get this big giant 73.6% win probability on this pick. I love that. And I'm even going to stay in this game for another similar play. We can go over to this Suns Rockets game. I should mention, by the way, one, one reason why this Booker uh, projected turnover number is as low as it is for us is the fact that Houston 21st in turnovers force per game. So that's really going to help uh, keep Booker below that number. He averages 2.6 on the season, but you'd be really surprised to see that like 2.6 doesn't mean that he's going to go over or get more turnovers than two and a half you know, more than 50% of the time. It's probably only like 40 to 45% of the time. So already skewing towards the less than for Booker then we get the matchup that helps it even further. That's why we have such a high win probability on that play. Another thing Houston does, they get a lot of their shots blocked. The sixth most shots blocked per game allowed for this Houston team. Look at Kevin Durant. Only 0.5 uh, projected blocks on price picks. 1.49 for us. Now, similar thing. Like this you know, distribution also works in the same way where it does skew towards the lower number. But this one's so much higher that we still have it at 75.6%. A lot of you guys probably already know I'm not a big fan of Kevin Durant. I particularly don't like the way that he plays defense and has played defense throughout his entire career. But block shots is not among those concerns. He does get his fair share of counting stats defensively. Whether or not he makes a positive impact on that side of the floor is a different uh conversation we won't ha we won't dive into that right now this is all about hitting the picks so take a look at this we don't have any correlation here sometimes you don't need correlation this two pick power play already at 66 and percent we can do a lot better than that i'm not going to play the two pick i'm going to build for a four pick probably even a six pick uh, i'm going to look to use these same props over on underdog as well i've, I've really enjoyed lately attacking first quarter props on underdog price picks offers them as well. Uh, if, if you've never seen them before, it's because you actually have to change at the top. You can't just look at NBA. You have to select NBA first quarter all the way up at the top to find those. But price picks doesn't offer as many of them as underdog, which is why I've been typically focusing my first quarter props over on underdog and the, uh, the individual first quarter picks or the, all, all of the other picks, I should say, really focused over there on price picks. I like this, the fact that I can get that six pick play, have three pairs on price picks. So when push comes to shove, that's my preference, but uh, both work. And I'd say it's really, really important that you are playing both. If you have access to both, you get the best of both worlds, right? You don't have to force something on price picks. If you just only like, maybe, you, maybe there's a night you only like five picks. So you go you after that 20 to one, uh, payout over on underdog with the five pick play price picks better for that six pick. If you go five, you're only getting 10 to one. So use both. And when you sign up over on underdog, make sure you are using the promo code FTN it will give you a hundred percent deposit match all the way up to a hundred dollars. You can also use this QR code that we have here. By the way, we've been doing a underdog pick of the day from the FTN fantasy account. So if you're not following the FTN fantasy account, do that over on Twitter and you will get our underdog pick of the day. Back to this play. The next place I want to go is now I want to find some correlation, right? We don't know if Denny Avdia will play tonight. So maybe you hold off on this one for a little while, but one of our favorite 
Picks of the day is Avdia, more than 14.5 points, 59.5%. The reason why I like this so much is because it correlates extremely well with Kyle Kuzma, less than 22.5 points. So one of the reasons why you might want to hold off on this one is that if Avdia doesn't play, that's probably helpful for Kuzma. So if you are going to use this pairing, definitely works better in a power play making, you know, it's going to help you get them all right. It might hurt you when it comes to getting Kuzma's correct. So I love this correlation, obviously plus 4.1%, one of the highest numbers I can recall seeing. And already this power play gives us 137% expected value. This is a phenomenal foundation. Even if you think we are slightly overrating the chances that these two hit, at worst, they're like 65%. So you're still going to get an enormous expected value on this play. We know the correlation is here. This is a tremendously solid foundation for the day. Hopefully, it leads to some big wins. We'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.